um, important aspect to um, religion responding to history, and that's through wisdom or mysticism. Um, I doubt you will take the time to read them, but the Upanishads or the Bhagavad Gita uh, from, from the Hindu religion um, is mostly mysticism. And it is quite interesting to, to get in and to read. Then there is um, medieval devotion, another religious period or, uh, of, of religion impacting history. Uh, during the medieval period, you know, the common man could not read. So he was dependent on what the priest told him the word said. And um, that began to change, though. And then I remember a great mover and shaker from this particular period of history that had impact on the common man. Delighted. Martin Luther, okay. Um, that's a, in, in 14, what, 1495? Mm -hmm. um, no, not 1495. Uh, it's 95 Theses. Boy, the date just went right out of my mind. The 1400-something. I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, he nailed his 95 Theses to the door of the Wittenberg Church. Martin Luther was a Catholic priest. Um, and began, as, as he got into Scripture himself, began to see some mm -hmm. what he called unacceptable practices within the 